Hey Browns fans, Nathan Zagura here with the position review edition of the two minute drill brought to you by University Hospitals and today we're going to look at the linebackers and really the 2022 season for the linebackers was a story of injury, a story of what could have been. Remember going into the year the Browns felt like they had four starters, Anthony Walker Jr., Jacob Phillips, Jeremiah Wusu koromoa and Sione Takitaki. Injuries would limit Anthony Walker to just three games, Jacob Phillips to just seven, JOK to 11, and Sione Takitaki to just 12. When you consider out of 17 games, 17 times four, that's 68. The Browns starting linebackers, the quartet, all of them only played in 33 games, less than half of the allotment for the season. So this was one where the Browns had to bring people in mid-season, late, try a lot of things. And the truth of the matter is, this is a room that could look very different again next year. Under contract, you have Tony Fields, who stayed healthy and I thought really came on strong in his second year, playing very well down the stretch, had a pick six against the Houston Texans, was really involved, getting tackles, playing well, really coming alive for linebacker coach Jason Tarver. You also have Jeremiah Wusu koromoa still entering his third year out of Notre Dame, coming off a season which he had 70 tackles, four passes defense, and two forced fumbles. And then Jacob Phillips, again, only seven games, but 46 tackles, two sacks, and a pass defense. So you've got those playmakers at linebacker. We just have to keep them on the field. Phillips, that has been the Achilles heel his entire career. And JOK, he's a little bit light for a linebacker, but boy, is he talented. The Browns have to find a way to keep these guys on the field. And then there are a bunch of question marks because listen to this list of free agents the Browns have from their linebacker room a year ago. Anthony Walker Jr. He had a great three games. He was all over the field, was playing as one of the best linebackers in the league, according to Pro Football Focus. He was on a one-year deal after having a great season the year before. He's a leader. He would like to be back. The Browns would like him to be back. Then you've got Sione Takitaki, rookie contract up, unfortunately suffers that horrific knee injury late in the season down in Houston, but he was having a great year. 71 tackles, he had a sack, he had a forced fumble. He was getting to play Mike Linebacker due to the injuries and he was thriving. And he's one of those heart and soul kind of guys, great on special teams, great guy. You'd love to see him back with the Browns, but he also is an unrestricted free agent and is dealing with rehab from that injury. Then you got Deion Jones, the former pro bowler that you acquired in the middle of the season from the Atlanta Falcons. He played well for you, but again, not a bigger guy, but he's got good instincts in the passing game. In 11 games, 44 tackles, two and a half sacks, he had an interception and a forced fumble. Deion Jones, a leader, battled through a shoulder injury this year for the Browns and I thought played well. Could he be back? So many questions, so many unrestricted free agents. In addition to Reggie Ragland, who's the big 250 pounder, a former second rounder out of Alabama, who really brought some thumping to the Browns run defense and played well down the stretch for them. He is interested in a return. As is Jermaine Carter, another big guy, 260 pounds, who played in seven games, had 16 tackles. Then you have a couple of special teams aces, Jordan Kunashik, who the coaches loved, always assignment sound, making big plays on special teams. And then Tay Davis, who came on in the middle of the season to play some special teams for you as well. So it is a crowded room. We just went through a ton of names there. You're likely to have five, maybe six on the roster for special teams. Who will they be? We only have three really under contract in addition to Story Jackson and Sam Kamal on the reserve injured list and Sam Kamara more of a pass rusher than he is a traditional off-ball linebacker. So a lot of decisions have to be made here by Andrew Barry and how they round out this linebacker room. We'll see what Jim Schwartz is looking for out of that group, what traits he wants. He'll get with Andrew Barry and see if they can flesh that out. But Fields, Awusu Koromoa, and Jacob Phillips, who's been here rehabbing every single day, they will be the core going into the offseason. Who joins them from that group? Who comes back from this group of free agents? Those will be the big questions. But the Browns need that room to stay healthy. They need them to be playmakers and difference makers if this defense is going to thrive in 2023. This has been the Linebackers Position Review Edition of the Two Minute Drill brought to you by University Hospitals.